Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Simul Baya here, your host on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Here we are once again, where we always seem to be getting ready to fight Boba Fett. At least recently, it's been mostly fighting Bo Boba Fett pretty much the whole time. So, I will admit, I looked up um, how to fight Boba Fett. Uh, basically, I think the walkthrough is designed more for computer than for a uh, console. Because this is one of the games that came out on both, which makes it actually kind of really difficult to work with. Because uh, it's just... It's a hard boss fight. It's not designed with the player in mind. I mean, it is, but we're on medium difficulty. So I think my nostalgia goggles were a little thick with this one. Um, it's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but gods, I don't remember it being this hard. I don't know if it's because I played on easy or if there's a very easy option. I don't know. But, so what we're going to do today, we're going to try to take a turn or two, a time or two to defeat Boba Fett. If it does not work, what I'm probably going to have to do is take time off of stream, play through the game in easy mode, on easy difficulty, dishonoring me, the cow, and everything else, and get to this point and then beat the level on easy, and then we can just round out the level on easy difficulty, which I don't like doing. Um, I prefer to not have to use um, lower difficulties when it comes to... Uh, Playing the games, I, I, I prefer medium, a bit of a challenge. Still so good for story mode, but, you know, keep the, just keep the game challenging. But, uh, janky controls, bad physics, and just, diff just overall difficulty uh, with just the consoles making it a lot more difficult. So, we're instead of babbling here like incoherent moron, we're going to start the game. Get that beautiful turn on to footage. Because, you know... Prove it's on a system. It's on the old system. We gotta turn on the old system because I like to the proof I've got it. Now I'm not showing you the cartridges like I did with Earthbound because that was just silly. But uh, it's definitely the game. Definitely an N64 controller. Apparently the computer version of this actually had fully voiced um, characters. So, uh, fully, fully voiced cutscenes, but of course we can't do that on N64. So we're going to just jump on in here. Again, shout out yesterday to Lisa RN 71 for dropping not just her sub, but like gifting subs, because that was amazing. Never happened on the channel. If you guys missed yesterday's stream, check it out on YouTube. It'll be on, uh, YouTube on Monday. Um, I, I beat World 4, and also, uh, we beat, uh, that level that killed the crap out of me last time, uh, jump, 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 number 2 or whatever it was. That was not fun. But I beat it, I 100%ed it, so I never have to do it again. Um, shout out to, uh, Metal Snake 81 for, uh, the follow yesterday and the shout out. And shout out to Gabe Triple D Enthusiast for the follow at like the last second. Because uh, he, he joined in right as we ended it. And I, I kind of feel a little bad for doing so. But we were running a whole hour and a half later than usual. I try not to run too late. Too late. Oh, after streams. Especially since tonight I have D&D &D night. Uh, which is something I enjoy playing. My best friend is the DM. And my best friend for ages and always my favorite DM. Um, always been good. Always good with the character voices. Giving unique voices each character. Really bringing the world to life. Of course, we will. Uh, he may have a line on extra D&D player. It'd be nice. I typically play d and I usually play two characters because it makes ADHD a little bit easier to manage because each character is different, different thought processes, different actions, different techniques. 
Your backstory is different personality, so it allows me to. Oh, that thing's still alive. So it allows me to maximize my attention absorbing activities so that I don't lose attention span. Because, especially like a longer session. Exactly. I think he's dead. My ADD can kick in a little bit. Honestly, if you guys really like, there's a, if you guys really like watching people play D and D, you should check out Viva La Dirtly. Uh, they do a really good series, and actually, they're doing currently doing two series. Um, uh, the usual NPC D and D with the group is called the Baradoon and the Dickheads. Which is not an appropriate name, trust me. Uh, their last episode or two, they kind of had to deal with the consequences of their murder hoboing. Which actually, uh, damn near killed them. That their poor rogue cannot roll for shit. I always think about, like, somebody just needs to send him a set of dice. Uh, because, boy, he, he just does not roll very well. Yeah, you remember there's two of the uh, probe droids there. The game always ta auto targets the one closer to me, which is fine usually, but not so great when you're uh, being attacked. Or like when you're trying to shoot the one being actually attacking you. Gotta hug this wall here because there's a guy in that hole. Ow! And he likes to not miss. But it's fine, because if you look over there, where that thing is in the distance, there's a full heal over there. Next to that challenge point. There we go. Higher pitch wine usually means death. Usually. Who the fuck's shooting at me now? Okay, there he goes. Apparently you need to shoot him just one more time. Now if I can kill this guy without getting shot. Full health, good. Two health packs up in there, always nice. And actually it's funny, uh... I saw a video on YouTube. Oh, that, that's that's fine. Where uh, apparently Rob, because it's all Dila Dirtley from New Zealand, and Rob is their DM. He actually went to a world record-breaking attempt in Utah, where they had 1,400 people playing um, D and D simultaneously to go for a world record. I don't know if it's the thing he plans on doing every week, every year, but apparently they're doing another one next year, so I might try to get my uh, best friend to go with me. Because it'd be fun to play. Because usually I don't get to play D&D &D with him specifically. He's usually the DM. And yes, well, usually that means he's the... Uh, like, like, this run, he's been playing uh, NPC... To, uh, not NPC, a uh, PC character. Uh, player character. Mostly because we only have two players. And we needed a dedicated spellcaster. Because I play a champion, uh, not champion, a uh, Eldritch Knight and a cleric. And our, uh, the second, the other guy in the group, he plays a swashbuckler rogue, Kabold. Uh, my fighter's human, so I can get more feats. And, uh, the, uh, cleric is a drow who dual wields maces. It was always fun. Except she never, I can never seem to swing both. She has a capability of putting out a good bit of damage, but never seems to quite do it. Okay, I don't need that full heal yet. 
I will be taking damage in a moment. Because I don't because I'd rather take a little bit of damage than risk dropping off that cliff. Wait. There we go. And oh I will admit I looked up some cheat codes for this game to see, hey, maybe there's something that can make my life a little easier, like extra lives code. No, not in this one. Actually, most of the codes required for this game require either being the game on hard, uh, being the game with a certain amount of, uh, uh, certain amount of challenge points, or, uh, putting in a special name in the title when you start a file. <laughs> Which you gotta be careful with, because, uh, old codes back then were not the easiest to type in. I really wish there was more extra lives in this one, though. I know there's an extra life near Boba Fett. Well, actually, not near Boba Fett. In the ring of Boba Fett. God, I played this level so many times I've memorized where most of the ambushes are. Don't even hesitate. Just charge through the time. Hello viewer, welcome to the stream. I see there's somebody out there enjoying the retro Star Wars action with me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, there is a door here. You know, I don't think I've ever used this freaking door here. I think I always like just jump in the window and she starts shooting. I think they're not and they're not designed to anticipate that maneuver. I don't know. Kill the robot in there. I was kind of killed before the door closed. Because that one's a turret, not a murder Roomba like most of the ones we've dealt with, but it definitely a turret. It's dead. No, it's not. It is now, though. Alive. Damn it. Oh, that was close. I don't think the dam the ammo counter actually means anything in this game. Um, I think it's just like away being it so you can kind of run out of shots. I don't think it's like a damage percentage. But I've never taken the time to really count. There we go. It's dead. Grab that health pack. This should put us at 85 health. And now uh, there's another health pack over here. Okay. That gives me full health. Okay, there we go. Which is great, because this is an ambush later. Okay, so that went about as well. Fuck! So usually that there's a group of two around the corner, like two at the elevator, and then two that come up around that first corner and the one around the second corner. I've not actually seen them push forward before like that, so that's irritating. Because now I only have five lives to get with which to get to Boba Fett. Which isn't really that difficult. Again, I've memorized most of the placements. And as you can tell, the game is always selecting the closest enemy instead of the one shooting at me. 
The original wall hacks. Actually, it's Star Wars, so she's using the Force. Now he's dead. I think. I just, uh, thought. Now we got another murder room by here. Ow! Fucker. I hate to use a large uh, med kit for so little health, but in this area, the um, this that door opens, and then once it closes. Um, this door opens, a uh, secret door on that wall, that once this closes, it doesn't reopen. Top down view again, very helpful. Good old Wilhelm screen. Okay, murder room, but dead. Way out is closed. Knew he was there. To quote Nick Fury in Ultimate Spider-Man, this isn't my first rodeo. What, my fifth or sixth try on this run? Okay, I don't need the health pack. I already have full health. Ooh, frame rate drop. Grab about the probe drive. Blasters if it ammo, huh? Okay, let's go get the health pack. It's 10 health. Toss me back off. I firing from down there earlier. What if I got him by accident? I mean, accident is the wrong word for that, but. Skill also seems like the wrong word for this game. Dick! Another ambush room. All right, we got through it without damage. Not something we get often. Always gotta be careful of that doorway. If I don't kill those two guards on the ladder, they're, they're always flanking that door. Got it. Okay. Let's take this elevator to the top. Shoot the hell out of the guy that's there. Start firing now. Okay, he's dead. Hit the button. I'll need a jetpack, I know. But we gotta circle back for the challenge point. Oh, 
Although I got set holding the uh trying to look for uh to see if there was an extra life code because I hate I hate to use codes on the stream. But I also hate to spend three episodes in one boss fight. They said one thing that you can do is when your character is flat, like horizontal properly, with the jetpack, you can actually uh, strafe and it controls your, your uh, movement a lot easier. Let's go up top so I don't have to use as much fuel with the flight. Give me fuel, give me flight, give me that which I desire. Who? Aha. Uh -huh. Always take a running jump as far as you can. Start to fall. Hit the jetpack. Okay, first off, let's kill the things that are trying to kill me. Okay, it's dead. Ninety two damage isn't terrible though, all things considered. Oh, come on. Oh, that's horse shit. I didn't drop past the item. Oh, great. That's fucking great. We have, we have basically three lives left, maybe four. And I don't think there's any extra lives rolling around. So effectively, because the game decided to kill me way before I was at the item location, I'm, I'm fucked. And it was just a health pack. It wasn't even something that important. It wasn't like a challenge point or seekers. It was just a health pack. I'm kind of super pissed about that. What's the point of a jet pack if like you fall too fast, you die? So that wasn't a health pack, that was Seekers. But now I need this health pack. Fuck, okay, this run just took a big old shit. Okay, we're gonna continue, because we don't have a choice. What are you doing shooting at me from this far away? I'm hella out of your aggro range. Okay, let's give a jump. Guys, we're at 180 followers, I just realized. The most channels ever had is 180. That's amazing, actually. I want to thank you all for your support. Stage complete. Yay! I died twice in that stage.
the bitch of it is. Luckily that part's over, but we still got like platforming and shit to deal with. Some more bullshit ambushes. That guy I was trying to set up his make it easier to run over to him while strafing, but he decided to come out and get wrecked. Enemy willing to just throw himself on my blaster, always appreciated. Wait for the elevator. Okay, it's not technically an elevator, it's like a floatigator, gator, but whatever. Okay, now here comes the, the, the mini boss fight. As many as you could call an ATST fight. There he is. Why'd the door close again? Run! Once again, we gotta wait for him to turn his back before getting damage to him. Yeah. We'll just keep firing here because when he pokes his head back out, it's usually backwards. ATST typically favor a figure eight pattern. At least this game does. Battle Ender would have been a lot shorter if they just had Dash Rendar shooting the ass end of a ATST the whole time. Like, he looked at me, he looked at me, mom, he looked at me, run! I feel like this fight's going faster than usual. Of course, it's kind of hard not to when I've done this fight five or six times. I'm basically just pressing the button as fast as I can. Honestly, I kinda wish I had a rapid fire trigger. Max pass will do it. Okay, come on. All right, ATAT ATSD down. That opens up the the secret thing I couldn't have gotten to in the first place. Robot. That room has three murder Roombas in it. Count them three. Ah. 
Okay. So there are stormtroopers the other side. Basically a uh, pinch maneuver. There's one behind that pole, I thought. I see a stupid ass little helmet. Okay, that should take care of them. I think I got all the enemies. Except for the ones hitting the tunnels. This is Seekers. Yep. 52 Seekers, which is double what it took to kill IG-88. Thank God for the jetpack, because that fall would have hurt. Two health packs, 20 each, so 40 full. But each one of those tunnels has enemies in it. So we're gonna clear the tunnels, then get the health. The worst part about this game is essentially each run through this level takes about an hour and 15 minutes which is a really long time in a game that's janky oh good I got down just as he came around the corner This guy used the computer to see a little bit better in the dark. Always that first shot lands. When there's an ambush around the corner, they never miss their first shot. If I'm a stormtrooper, if I'm unlucky though, they follow two more shots and hit every time. Of course, there's one on each side. Because if you're going to be cheap, be extra cheap. Now, there's no bonus points for killing everything I come across in this game. It's just old gamer habit. No survivors. Okay, let's go kill these guys. Oh, that's a full heal, okay. So I guess those two health packs at the bottom don't matter much. God, I wish I could carry them though. How nice it would be to be able to carry extra health packs. Amazing to carry two health packs. I mean, extra health packs. Oh, 
Honestly, it was one of the best things about the Ah, shit! Jerks. I'm gonna go back for those last two health packs. One will do it, but you know. It says I slowly descend from on high. Oh, Honestly, if you guys haven't been watching the accolade on uh, Disney Plus, it's some good shit. I know not everyone agrees. There's lots of people out there that disagree with everything Disney's ever done. Murder Roomba over here. I just can't seem to win. I hate this fan segment. I'm not a big fan of this. Get it? Not a big big fan of okay. You guys got it. I don't have to explain. Alright, dead. Oh, look at that, pro. Pro moves. The thing is how to get airborne again without touching the, uh, the middle part of the pole walls of her, the drive shaft. Ow. 3% damage isn't terrible, though. You gotta come out of the, like, poor health. The worst part about it is I can't really see where the other enemies are. But there we go. Why not kill those guys first this time? I can kill them first and then come down here and get all the health. So they quit shooting me on the top of the head. Not that this game is showing a preference for damage. You know how some games they do extra damage on the head and you can tell? Yeah, this game doesn't seem to have that. And there we go. Perfect landing, 10 of 10. Okay, another thing is seekers. There we go. Back in, in the hole. God, I hate these freaking guys. Few sins to me are as terrible as putting enemies in unshootable locations. Where you can't see them. And like, every time you use the jetpack in this game, your aim goes. He doesn't really aim as much when jetpacking as you would think.
Like, on the ground, he'll kind of aim toward an enemy. Oh, I almost fucked that way up. But, on board the, uh, ship, he just won't. Ah. Fucker. Cheap shots, man. There's some cheap shots in this game. Boing! That works. Okay, now here comes another docking bay with a whole bunch of enemies in it. And the trick is you can cover before someone shoots at you. So we're gonna run over here, hide behind this beautiful low poly pillar. Hey, got some rhythm to it. Ah. Blast the shit out of him. Now there's two more above me. I'm gonna turn on the AC in this room. It's hot in here. Whoa! I got another subscriber. Who just subscribed? Hold up. Hey, someone just subscribed and my notifications didn't go off. Kame Sinan, welcome back. Welcome back, my good old friend, my good old buddy, my good old pal. How you been? How you been? How you been? It has been a while, my friend. Okay, he's also dead. Both dead. I, I haven't... I Tell me, I've got like four subs right now. You're one Super Kmart, and then somebody yesterday sent me a sub for being a level on uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, one that bit, took like 100-something live. Hot. Triple digits since last month. We haven't gotten quite to triple digits here yet. Um, it has been hot in my house though, that's for sure. You trying to stay cool like AC and DC and stuff or? Oh guys, we're almost to Boba Fett. We only got one more like hammer. Oh god, he didn't open fire. I'm surprised he didn't. I'm trying, but not successfully. Um, I don't know if you have a Costco membership or your Costco has the same stuff mine does. But a while back, my Costco got these uh, neck fans or like a collar almost with fans on the side that go all the way around the neck. If you can afford one, they're like 40 bucks for two of them. You should look into them. USB charged, that kind of a thing. No worry, this channel, channel is not sponsored by anybody. But I suggest a game or something, because I played it and I love it. Now, who the fuck shot at me? Who the fuck shot at me? The Costco didn't see them. Uh, ask about them. Maybe, maybe they have them, or maybe they're out of your store. I'm not entirely sure. I know my wife watches a lot of those uh, shopping channels where people like to go shop at Costco and stuff and tell the deals. Yeah, not a problem, Kame. I like to help people. And nobody wants to suffer and like burn to death. So then heat exhaustion kills uh like twelve hundred people a year. Maybe maybe don't do that. Okay, there's no one over here. Well, yeah, yesterday, I think there was some clips done yesterday, too, about the, uh, that one jump, jump, jump level on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So-called expert levels. One 
boss corridor and it's Boba Fett time. Wait, I know there's another guy in here. Where'd he go? Oh, there's you guys. All right. Boba Fett battle attempt number five or six at this point. Oh God, I forgot he was there. I need a drink of water. Been on my Switch playing Minecraft fan myself. Ah! My my younger niece is obsessed with Minecraft. She likes to watch those guys playing Minecraft with friends who have like weird challenges or weird mods where they end up screaming the whole time running back and forth. I don't get it myself. But hey, more power to whoever makes those videos. Because, you know, if your video is just you playing a video game with a friend and then doing dialogue over the top, it's got to be fun. Thoughts on the Acolyte? Oh! Apparently you haven't been paying attention. I spoke very highly of it yesterday and the day before. While live. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. All right, we got down to the bottom. But yes, sorry, I gotta focus. So, the Acolyte, great. I'm loving it. I dig the characters. Um, are you caught up, Kame Sinan? Uh, but I think the Acolyte is a very good addition to the Star Wars mythos. And it's really nice to see a show that has nothing to do with the Skywalkers or the Empire or any of that other bullshit. Like, it's nice. We don't get that very much anymore. Lately, everything in Star Wars has been about Skywalkers and everything else. Yeah, it's great, Kami. It's, it, it's fun. Are there people who are mad about it? Yes, but that's because there's no, like... I don't know what's up with like sci-fi and comic book fans, but for some reason there is not They are the most hostile to their own fandoms of any fandom I've ever seen Cuz like they don't share But yeah, if you if you have Disney Plus, it's great to watch if you don't have Disney Plus I'm not gonna tell you you should go online find a pirate website Download it, making sure it's a good file, and then play it on your computer or on a disc. But if you can watch it, it's great. You can't please some individual. No, there are. And and the sad thing is, a lot of it is gate like like gatekeeper. Like I don't understand why people want to gatekeep. Like, why do they think only they can enjoy a thing because they've enjoyed it their whole lives? Like, things grow and change. It's the nature of the world. I mean, look at the Star Wars movies. Through the first movie, there are not really that many aliens. At least not until George Lucas started monkeying around with it. to go. Ok, 
Okay. I am joined Doctor Who to fight the Sandman. Yeah, I haven't seen the new Doctor. Um, my wife and I, my wife got me really into Doctor Who for a while, but then like as as things happen, we kind of lost the time required to watch it. And so, uh, we haven't really sat down to watch it in a while. Is it just the new season on Dark, on uh, Disney Plus right now, or is it the old ones too? phrase enjoying something despite the fandom makes me sad. Because the fandom is supposed to be a place where people who love things together come together to love them, not this gatekeeping bullshit. I'm trying to step here where it seems he's less... died. There's a health pack out here I haven't used. And as we learned a little bit ago, even if I have a jetpack and I'm falling toward a ledge, if I don't activate it soon enough, I die. I'm one of the few ones that like the all-female Ghostbusters. You know, I kind of like the old all-female Ghostbusters too. I'm one of those people where I like to see things differently. I don't mind seeing like all female Ghostbusters. Kind of cool. I kind of like how they designed it to stand out to MTV. There's the tag at the end about Zool. That was great. But like, I enjoyed the hell out of it. It was weird. It was kooky. It wasn't just trying to just do the same old Ghostbusters. It was doing its own thing. Which, in this time of constant remakes and rehashes and stuff, it's kind of nice. That have people do their own thing. Love that Skinner, Skimmer got a girlfriend. Oh, Skimmer. Give me a second. I will ask for clarification momentarily. would work on the earth. Slimmer. Slimer. Yeah, I'm not hanging out next to him. He likes a little bit of flamethrower and hurts. Where'd he go? My kingdom for a mini-map. Yeah, this game is intense. I, I've been finding this boss fight. Uh, this is like my fifth or sixth attempt at this. It won't be so bad if it wasn't for the damn physics behind the game. After I beat him, I still have to beat his blasted fucking starship.
Gotta stay away from him. Problem is, I have four. Oh, well, I have four lives. Oh, shit. Ah! Of course. The seat seeking missile. Well, I got cocky with that. Gotta get away from him. He can do about, if I let him get too close to me as a flamethrower, that does about 30 damage, 30 to 50 damage in one second. I hate to use this full heal on the first half. Okay, charge up the jetpack, go again. drink of water. Really excited. Yeah. Finally, a Legend of Zelda about fucking Zelda, right? Hell yeah, and I'm planning on streaming that shit. I might even, like, take the time away from the, uh, like, if I beat a game pretty close to the, uh, release date, I might just, uh, not stream for a week or two just to get the uh the fuck is this guy there he is Oh shit! Took my eye off him for half a fucking second. My jetpack is not very maneuverable. The thing is, the auto targeting of this game is not very efficient. It doesn't work when the jetpack's on. No! No, the flamethrower! Where is he? Is that he plays spirit Zelda Spirit Tracks? Eh! I wasn't very impressed with Spirit Tracks, to be honest. Yes, you technically play a Zelda at least for a little bit. But the DS games... The, uh... The touch controls threw me. And no one counts a Panasonic game, that's true. Although, honestly, I would love to get a chance to see a CDI. I 
I would 100% take the chance to play one of the Panasonic games. Fuck me. But I didn't know how expensive a CDI machine would be. I feel like that'd be terrible. Here's me going that has quality of life fixtures. Hmm. Like somebody went through and updated all the graphics and shit, or? Huh, it's kind of funny that there is a remake of something like that, like. Something Nintendo doesn't want to admit existed. Did not want to do the the, the vision changes. Slave one. All right. Okay. Oh, I don't like this angle. Oh, give me a sec. The angle's messing with my head. Oh. Okay. Gives me a headache, man. Give me a minute. Oh, okay, back from ads. Oh, sorry, the uh, this game is giving me a bit of a headache at this camera angle. How bad is it that you think Boba Fett's going to mail with some asshole with a blaster breaks his ship? I don't see why Obi-Wan had such difficulty dealing with the ship. Thank the goddess, it's finally over! <laughs> Boba Fett is down! Boba Fett is down. Bitches, we did it. Level complete, hour two minutes. Challenge point 10 to 15, two. Bonus lives for start. Oh my goddess. You don't understand. That was the whole last stream. We only got to. Okay, part part three. Hunting the assassins. 
The rebels locate Boba Fett, but with the help from an Imperial escort, the bounty hunter escapes from Gaul. Above the planet, an assassin nearly kills Luke. Princess Leia, fearing for her safety, asks Dash to follow him to Tatooine. There, at the abandoned home of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke refines his Jedi skills while Dash keeps an eye out for trouble in, familiar mo in a familiar Mos Eisley Cantina. Oh, thank the gods. Skylocker is hiding in Kenobi's old place. Jabba will be extra to the one who blasts his bones. I've got to stop these swoop jockeys before they reach Luke. He can't handle all of them. Oh boy, I don't like where this is. Oh no. It's a driving level. Oh no. Okay, lift kick, move, left kick. Right kick, accelerate, 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 brakes. Oh god, it's ro Guys, we're playing Road Rash. <laughs> Fuck me, god damn it. I got one. An extra life, that would've been helpful. What's wrong, Dash Rendar? You can't shoot from the back of a swoop bike? Well, it's a good thing I don't die. Star Rash, but with horrible control. Oh, you don't even understand. Oh, you can die. Good to know, I guess. I say the driving stage on MMX, MMX2. I don't know what MMX2 is. Enjoying the open air, guys. This is not pod racing. I have that game, it's better than this. Dash, come on. I 
animal death. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, goddammit. I think there's only one guy left, though. Assuming I get close enough to him to ram him. the swoop gang head for Kenobi's place oh god Mega Man 2 ostrich stage uh yeah platformers are not driving driving games they should be aware of this I'm going back for that challenge piece yes I know it's the wrong way fuck you I want the challenge point oh if this is the end of part three I'm definitely calling it a stream after this, because holy shit, these last two levels have not been very fun. You know what? I just decided, fuck it. I'm not willing to risk dying for that. Luckily, the pot raising game was much more fun than this. Every time I get up to decent speed, I'm like, okay, now I'll just hit something. Oh, fuck me, okay. I'm really hoping that's the end of it. Stage complete, someone's by a. No challenge points. Increasing lights to minimum. Four lives. Well, at least there's a pity lives. Brits the Slay asked me to watch your back. Well, good thing she did, because it looks like everyone, like everyone wants your head, even Jabba. Yes, but who's pulling Jabba's strings? Let's, Leia's trying to find answers, Luke. She thinks Black Sun Spy Network may provide them. Black Sun. Their agents just gave us the time and route of a freighter carrying secret for Imperial construction plans. I wouldn't trust those gangsters if I were you. I don't trust them, but we can't afford not to check it out. It may be vital to the Alliance. Want to come along, Dash? Why not? Gotta earn my pay. Dash, this is Luke. You, you board the Imperial Freighter and find that supercomputer. I'll cover you out here. Nobody notices me just parking at the, the front door? Make your way through the ship and find the Imperial supercomputer. My scanners show that it is near the main cargo hangar. You know, I don't think I've ever really played any Mega Man games when I think about it. I mean, a little bit? Really? You're not going to kill me on Bomber on Starship. Anybody else? I know no one gives a shit about Stormtroopers stacking them in like cordwood. At least two blasters. Yeah, 
You know, in a modern game, this kind of thing would be a stealth mission and be kind of fun. Well, shit, this game wants me dead dead. Obviously. But, like, five stormtrooper, five, six stormtroopers are like eight feet of each other? Like, come on. Maybe I don't shoot the computers that are probably holding the ship together? Well, that's the first time I've heard a stormtrooper talk in this game. Alright, there we go. Is everybody dead? If you're alive, raise your hand. Oh, I'm in the barracks. Oh, see, now I feel bad. Not too bad, of course, but... These guys were just taking out. Oh, yeah! You know, I kind of wish if Dash got, like, close range like that, he'd just punch him in the face. Okay, now it makes sense of why there's so many goddamn stream troopers in this area. They're next to the goddamn airlock. Oh joy, a challenge point. Well, that's the first time the door was where it was the first time. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn off the target lock. Gotta change the controls a little bit. I forgot I still have the target lock on. Oh look, a full heal. That would have been helpful 20 seconds ago. Yeah, fuck this. I thought that red door was a goddamn help. What up? Stage complete. Good job, Simo. I only got closed to three doors. Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm real sick of this shit. Both sides are gonna open and I'm gonna get shot, aren't they? Well, this is a big old bag of horse shit. You don't know the elevator fighting stage like the old days? Yeah, you know, I do miss the, the side scrolling beat em ups. That's a genre that kind of needs a rekindling, I think. They're trying. Oh boy, they're trying. They're trying to bring that shit back. Anyone else noticing a pattern here? Behind every door and ambush? Although, I'll be honest with you, the uh, elevator scene in Metal Gear Solid, uh, Metal Gear Solid was amazing. Treasure's Revenge is good. Yeah, I have it on my phone. One of those games Netflix uh, lets you download. Oh. 
It's a really fun game to have when you've got a, uh, a backbone controller for your phone. Oh, uh, I just need to get a shot one more time when we die. Oh my god! What is this, ambush the game? Fuck, I hope nobody forgets their key card at work. More murder Roombas. Feels like a Doom mod. Oh, this level? Yeah, I kinda. And not one of the fun Doom mods either, but like, John Romero's. No, it's Carmack. The one that's just stupid, stupid hard. Actually, uh, fun fact, one of the first retro games I played on this channel was um, Alien vs. Predator on Super Nintendo, just because I wanted to test out my, ground, my uh, capture card. Love that game. Imagine this game on a harder level. Well, this is medium, and it's kind of stupid hard. Like, I beat this game when I was a kid. I know I did. It was probably an easy. Oh, ouch. No, what the fuck shot me? Alien was throwing Jaguar is good. I've never played the Jaguar. Oh, I hate this game. Those are the best. Trooper on the other side of the book. Oh no, that's just lighting. Alien vs. Predator 2 on PC is still one of my favorite PC games of all time. Um, I own it. And the expansion pack, which I never got to play when it was a new game. I would have loved to see what that was like on uh, with multiplayer. Self destruct was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, great first person shooter. Game. What the actual fuck? But yeah, I, I loved, uh, actually, when I was on Alien vs. Spreader 2 on PC, was on PC, I actually had a, rented a server. And, uh, always kept that going. No, no, no! And, uh, I had a reputation on it as a good Predator player. I really like the spear gun and the combi stick as my primary weapons. Because the combi stick, someone got close enough to you, you could hit them with it. It would cut their head off. And, uh... The spear gun, all headshots took the head off and pinned it to a wall so you could go pick up the head later and the spear. I'm starting to hate everything about this game right now. Health pack there, but I only need 12 health. It gives 20. So we're gonna go with survival horror rules here. I'm not, I'm not healing unless I'm almost dead. Especially since I'm thinking I'm gonna fuck up that jump at least once, if not more.
Gotta go back around. Need the challenge point. Nope, fuck. Oh, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Oh, there's the fuck up. Two challenge points there, like... Kinda don't want them, but also kinda need them. Okay, healed up again. Although I, I, I gotta give you a heads up, once I get a game over on this, I'm calling it today. Come here, me. You want pets or not? Come on. It's a good girl. He's my good girl. Okay. Fuck it. No, because I, I definitely need the healing. See, the physics are super jank. Okay, I didn't take damage. Still, the worst physics in the game ever. Oh, come on. I've ever played with Super Mario Sunshine. Nothing beat hitting the ground, seeing yourself hit, and then just phase right through. Get the goddamn jetpack. Get your bitch ass on the Outrider and get the jetpack. No! I don't, I don't understand the physics in this game. Okay, that time he landed. Ah! It's okay, that was a stupid jump. Design decisions. At least they didn't choose to put a, uh, a like siren going over this part as I'm on board an enemy vessel. There he is. Uh uh. No, -uh. uh -uh, I'm not here. The uh, the blasters are malfunctioning, sir. calling it i'm calling it for the day i can't i can't do this this game just trust me after the last couple weeks i beat boba fett and then it, the game jumped right back up onto the bullshit so we're just gonna call it uh kame do you have somebody you like to uh you like to raid you got someone you like to uh, watch or i can just jump into uh or i can just just raid someone i always i always raid anyways Alright, so I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon. 
Tom Mason, and shout out to you for that uh, resub for another month. I, I dig it. I dig it. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you. Or ma'am. Don't know. Don't know for sure. I appreciate you, though. Um, if you guys like watching the show and you guys are happy I beat Boba Fett, hit that follow button above my head if you're on Twitch. Or on YouTube, hit that subscribe button above my noggin. Uh, and hit that bell icon so you know where more videos go up live. As always, this video will post on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Although I'm thinking about rolling it back to 2 p.m. for uh, the sake of uh, lining it up, times up with my uh, stream. So people can always be like, oh, that's a thing. But, uh... Definitely want to check it out. If you guys really like the show, hit that subscribe button above my head. Um, Kame did. Uh, uh, b -b Linda RN did, did it twice. No, Lisa. Linda? Lisa? Lisa. Lisa RN did it twice. Uh, Super Kmart did it. Join a very small and very exclusive group of people who like to uh, who sub to my channel. Also, uh, if you're on YouTube, check out the Twitch. Also, if you agree, you're a cool person, you have Amazon Prime. Swing so on your Twitch and Amazon Prime. Get Amazon Gaming. Gives you free ga full games, free in-game characters, skins, weapons, currency, all kinds of fun stuff. And one 30-day non-recurring sub to anyone's channel of your choice. As long as you're the affiliate partner. Don't give that free sub to somebody who's already got partner. Go to a small channel like mine or someone else's. It only has a few subs. Make a small streamer's day. It, that sub makes a much bigger impact on us little guys than those ones that already have dozens or hundreds of subs anyways. Make a small streamer's day. Um, so uh, next week at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday, I will be jumping back into World 5. Count it World 5 of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Definitely want to give that a watch. It's a great game. Lots of level designs. There's a few levels that I absolutely hate. And I beat one of them already, so uh, bite me. Um, and apparently we're trying to 100% the game, so uh, we'll just keep a lookout for that. And then, of course, next Tuesday, not next Tuesday, next s s bleh, next Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be picking back up with a retro day show with our run through Star Wars Shows the Empire. Um, hopefully I'll do a little bit better next time instead of this time where I just got destroyed over and over and over again. But, again, thank you guys for hanging out with me this lovely afternoon, and don't forget to go and find your own glorious adventures.